Within Computex in Taipei, and the biggest topic by far has to be AI PCs, namely Copilot Plus PCs from Microsoft. These are PCs that have a suite of AI features, namely Image Co-Creator, Recall, and live caption. Naturally, we went hands-on with these features just to have a look at them. Let's start with Recall. Um, this is probably the biggest selling point of uh, Copilot Plus PCs and it lets you search for past activity either via text or uh, using uh, image recognition. I got to spend some time with Recall in a Qualcomm demo as well as uh, in various PC manufacturers' hands-on sessions. And even though it's early days, I think it's fair to say that uh, this is quite a hit and miss feature right now. As an example of how this feature works, I uh, searched for Reddit in the web browser and then uh, jump back to recall uh, to see if I could find it over there but it didn't show up neither in the text or in the visual search fields. Another example I, I used was uh, visiting Android Authority in the Edge browser and then searching for smartphone news website in Recall. That was the third option in visual search. One annoying thing we discovered was the fact that if you disable the saving screenshot functionality in the settings menu, you have to re-enable saving screenshots and then head into the system tray to actually re-enable Recall again. So that is a, a bit of an unintuitive approach that Microsoft needs to address ahead of its release. There also seem to be inconsistencies when it comes to uh, filtering results. For example, why can I filter by Paint, Edge and the File Manager for one search, but that field disappears for others? It's not all bad. For example, I did a Google search for a specific dog breed, uh, Shiba Inu, if you must know, and it actually showed um, a tiny picture of uh, Shiba Inu in a website that uh, previous attendees had visited in a demo. There are also some serious privacy concerns that uh, researcher Kevin Beaumont has uncovered recently. And this includes uh, a lot of recall data being stored in a plain text database. Plus recall captures passwords too if the field doesn't blank them out. Now you can exclude some apps and websites from recall, but Microsoft needs to address these and other privacy issues. Meanwhile, live caption functions in pretty much the same way as live caption on your Android phone. It'll give you captions in English, but also translates a variety of languages into English. A Qualcomm attendee claimed up to 44 languages, but we'll have to double check that. These captions can be moved around for your convenience too. There is understandably a delay uh, compared to baked in captions and subtitles, but at worst, that seems as good as live caption on Android, and at best, that actually seems a little faster. Finally, we've got the image co-creator, which you can find in the Paint app. You simply draw a picture and then use the co-creator prompt field to spruce it up or reimagine it. For example, you can draw a picture of a house and sun and ask co-creator to turn it into a better drawing. In saying so, I found that this worked best when you actually put a little effort into your drawings or you be more specific with your prompt. But the creativity slider also seems to be quite arbitrary about uh, when it goes from minor tweaks to your drawing to just outright changing it entirely. It's also prone to some dodginess right now. For example, uh, my colleague Paul Jones drew a, a foot kicking a football and uh, it, the results speak for themselves. So that's what Copilot Plus features look like on Windows, and uh, these will be coming first to Snapdragon PCs. Again, it's still early days, there's still hope that things will be improved, but if you are going to show it off publicly, you know, I think you would expect it to be a bit more polished than what it is right now. Is it worth picking up a Copilot Plus PC purely for these features? It's still too early to say, and devices are coming on June 18th only. But live caption is a great addition, particularly for accessibility purposes. Image co-creator isn't something I'd personally use, but I, I imagine it could be handy for creative types. Recall is meant to be the big selling point and we do need to spend a bit more time with it. But it's clear that between the privacy concerns and the hit and miss results, that it does need a little bit more time in the oven to make a great first impression. This is still an, a very early hands-on and uh, we weren't expecting everything to uh, be smooth sailing. What do you think of these Copilot Plus features? Are these features that you'll actually use? Are you interested by them? Let us know in the comments down below. Cheers guys.